We are going to go through the automata process today. This one is a little bit different than a previous video release because we have a new tool up here in the assembly menu. We can go up here and we can now choose tangent relationship. And this, this is kind of a game changer. Uh, changes us from having to do all the context sets that we had to do previously. So let's get started with it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be in activity 417, simulating cam motion. I'm going to scroll down and I need to go to resources and I need to get the automata box itself. So I'm going to go ahead and download that file. I've already taken care of that. So I clicked it and it's downloaded. So now I'm going to go to Fusion and I'll go ahead out here and I'm going to, remember I want to stay organized. So I'm going to get me a new folder in there. And it's just going to say automata for training for me. I'm going to go into that folder, so I open the folder, and now I'm going to hit upload. And I'll just select the file that I have right there we go. And I got it in there, make sure it's in the correct folder, and I'll hit upload. It'll take just a little bit, and then it'll get uploaded for us. All right, so let's double click that, and I'll load it up so you can see what you're going to get. Basically, you're going to get an empty box. Now, we've created cams in previous trainings, so I'm going to actually go back out to some of those trainings. I have some of those previously made here, so I know that they're in this Automata Tangents folder for me. So I'm just going to I'm gonna click on one of them. I'm going to hold my control key down and, and just click a few more here. Actually, I'll just go ahead and get all these cams in. So I've got them all copied, so I, I pressed on it. I had the control key, and that allows me to copy multiple. And I'll right click and say copy. This menu is going to pop up and say, well, where do you want to copy them to? So I'll come over here and I say training official for me. And then I'll say automata for training. Remember, that's the name of the folder I used. Open it up and then hit copy. And it'll put them in there for me. So there's all the setup, right? So now I can go back to my original folder, automata for training. And you can see all that stuff is there. I'm going to go ahead and get a cam and put it in. Now, if I double click these, it's going to open the entire cam, right? And it's going to get me off of this automata. So I'm just going to drag it over. So I got the eccentric. I'm just dragging it over. And right now, I'm just kind of moving it into position where I can work with it. So I've just got it out of the box and hit OK. So I'm going to kind of start rotating things around here. I know I can go up here and use the joint tool. And I want to get the axle hole onto the axle. So I'm going to click right in here. So there it is. Now I'm going to rotate this around a little bit so that I can see. I kind of want this to be on the lower end too. So I'm going to actually rotate it 180 degrees. And now I'll use these arrows and kind of start scooting it. So I'm going to use my look at tool and square it up. And if I click the wheel on the mouse I can pan too. And I'm just going to get it underneath the the follower system, right? So there it is. It's set up. I'm going to hit OK. Now, previously, we had to do all kinds of stuff. Check this out, though. Now I can just kind of rotate it to where I can see this and this. So I've got both my components there. I'm going to go up to Assemble now. It's right there. And I'm going to choose Tangent Relationship. So I'm clicking Tangent Relationship. I'm going to click the bottom of the follower, or the follower tip, rather. And I'll click the cam itself. It puts them together for me. And I'm going to hit OK. So now I can get out here and I can crank on that and it's good to go. I am going to go, because here's the joints, right? Here's this Rev 9. That's kind of the bread and butter. So I'm going to right click on that. Because I, because I grabbed the handle and moved it manually, I'm going to go back and say go to home position and it sets it back up for us. I can also right click on Rev 9 and say animate model. All right, so now let's rotate this around. Right. Let's go ahead and put another one in. So I'm going to hit escape and that will stop the model from moving. I'm going to take and grab, uh, let's grab the heart cam here. Now this is not what a typical heart cam looks like. It's kind of an exaggeration of a heart cam. But we could still use it. So I've got the model placed in that I can work with it now. Same process. I'm going to go to joint and use a rigid constraint. So click the center of the heart and the axle itself. Same spot. Even the same setup really. So I'm going to go ahead and square up here with the look at tool. And I'm going to use my arrows and just drag them into position here. That looks good. So I hit OK. I kind of want to rotate it to where I can see 
the faces that I'm going to have to click. I'll go up here to Assemble. Choose the Tangent Relationship. Click the bottom of the Follower tip and the Heart Cam itself. And then I'll hit OK. So then, let's go out here to Rev9. Right click and I'll just say Go to Home Position. There it is. And then I'll right click and say Animate the Model. All right. One thing I've noticed, let's talk about one that's kind of tricky. When we have uh, smaller angles, so like, let's pull up a hexagon cam here. I'm just going to drag this in. I want you to notice something about this hex cam. If you look at it really close, it's rounded off on the corners. Right? I've found that if I didn't round that off with a, a pretty substantial fillet size, that it was not going to work. It would create conflicts because the tangent constraint just couldn't hold. So it's the same process here, but when you pull up something like this, and even if you have a snail cam, let's take a look at a snail cam too. You'll notice here that this is not pointed. It's rounded off, and so is this inside as it's rounded off as well. Those would have to be that way. If I left them as, as originally drawn, where they were really pointy, uh, it would conflict with that tangent relationship. It just wouldn't work well. All right, so let's go ahead and, while we're here, we'll go ahead and put this one in as well. So joint, same setup, right? I'm going to just use a rigid. Here's another rigid. And from here, it's just a setup, right? I'll, I'll square it up, kind of zooming out here. I know it's a lot of movement on the screen. Just kind of put it into place and hit OK. And then again, same setup now. I'll go up here to Assemble, say Tangent Relationship, click the Follower tip, and then click the Can. So then I'll come over to Rev9 again, right click and say, let's, uh, let's go ahead and home it, right? And now we'll right click and say Animate the Model. This is so much smoother of a motion. When we did contact sets, oftentimes it would... It would freeze Inventor, it would lock it up. If nothing else, it uh, really had a tremendous amount of lag. So the Tangent Relationships is in a very new version of Fusion. So if we take a look here and I go to About, you can see uh, what version of Fusion we're on. So this is 2.0.12164 for me. Okay? So I hope this video helps us get set up.